Hey fragrance family, I'm Daver. And I'm a fragrance bro. Coming at you this time, we have a special kind of new thing we're doing. Uh, Jeremy is away, obviously. And this time I'm going to be doing some book reviews. I'm a reader, obviously. Yeah, I'm sure probably you are too. But I read a lot. And I really wanted to look for books on fragrances for because I wanted to educate myself on the art. I wanted to educate myself on the history. I wanted to just generally want to know about everything that goes into it. Jeremy hasn't read these books, so he's going to be out of these reviews. So I'm going to be coming to you on a, a semi-regular basis with reviews for books that I've read. And there's really not that many. Um, there, are, there are a few, but it's not as broad as I had hoped it to be. So I went on Amazon, and the first one I found was Essence and Alchemy by Mandy Aftel, which I'm going to be reviewing today. I'm going to show you some other books that I, that I also bought. Uh, Chandler Burr's Emperor of Scent. I uh, already read that, so that's forthcoming. Um, Chandler Burr's The Perfect Scent. Uh, I have not read that one yet. The Scent of Desire by Rachel Hertz. I have read that. Coming. What the Nose Knows by Avery Gilbert. I haven't read that one yet. Perfumes the Guide by Luca Turin and Tanya San uh, Sanchez. I uh, have read that as much as you can read it, and so that one's coming as well. And also I got uh, Jean-Claude Elena's book, Perfume, which I've kind of heard bad things about, but uh, we'll see how it is. I only got that one for a dollar on the Amazon bookstore, uh, the Kindle store. So starting off, uh, let's go ahead and review Essence and Alchemy by Mandy F. Tell. Uh, about the author, Mandy F. Tell is... She is the head of Aftelier Perfumes, I think that's how you pronounce it, and she has her own perfume line, and apparently, from what I gather in the book, it seems like she educated herself and trained herself in how to do uh, fragrances, which is very interesting. So that's her, so she has a, she has a resume going on uh, with fragrances. She knows what she's talking about, and I personally haven't tried any of her line, uh, so I don't, I cannot vouch about how good they are, but I know a lot of people who have and have said very good things about it. Uh, what is this book about? Well, it kind of is about natural history of perfume. It's more than just a history of fragrance, which I would have been just happy with just a fragrance history. And this is one of my gripes about the book is that the history is kind of spread out a little bit instead of in one chunk. And personally, I kind of wished it was in one chunk. Uh, I really wish that all the history was talked about all at once and the history of fragrance is only up to maximum turn of the 20th century so it doesn't go into kind of the the recent history that you have with modern fragrances things of that nature it does talk about Chanel a little bit but really what it's talking about is how fragrances came to be and why people use them and how they make them and that brings me to what else this book is about this book is about how to make fragrances. It's about how you extract the notes from like iris or, or lily, things of that, of those notes. It talks about the notes. It talks about top, heart, uh, base notes and what those are and what, how you blend them. And then it goes on and talks about how to even make fragrances. And she actually leads you through the course of the book in some of her own recipes of fragrances, which is really, really cool. The best part about this book, I think, is that it does teach you about fragrances, about how to make fragrances. And I'm not making my line anytime soon, probably or ever, but I thought it was very, very interesting about that. She does also go into alchemy, which is the which is where the title comes from, and she kind of brings that into the history part about how the old practice of alchemy kind of evolved into the modern day uh, art of fragrance where alchemy split into two different branches where the reason and science aspect of it went to science and then the mystical magical part of it went to fragrance making very very interesting uh, what I really like about this book and what I use it for most is kind of a compendium kind of a dictionary, kind of almost an encyclopedia of notes and terms and 
things of that nature. It's a really good fragrance resource if you're looking for something like that as far as uh, terms and, and, and things of that sort. Uh, accessibility for reading. I would say that the reading is... I thought it was good. I didn't think that the writing, uh, her writing was the best I've ever read before. So I think that the accessibility for reading it was probably not the best that I've ever read. However, I don't want to, this is, you know, this is of course a very personal opinion and everyone is different. Maybe it's no one will notice, but having, being a person who reads a lot, it matters to me. So I tend to gravitate towards writers who are more accessible, who are seasoned, who write well. And I think Mandy Aftel does a great job. I think personally, my opinion is that I, I didn't think it was accessible as it could have been. However, it is more of almost a, like a dictionary of sorts, an encyclopedia. So, I mean, how accessible does that need to be? Whatever. You know, it doesn't need to be that accessible. Who is this book for? Um, I would say this is generally for really anyone who loves fragrances, especially those who are into the art, the history, and more, even more particularly, those who are into wanting to maybe know about how to make their own fragrance. I think this book is especially for you. But I would say if you're, if you're a reviewer, or maybe if you just, just really love fragrance, if you're a subscriber, an avid collector even, I would say this is a great buy. It's not that much money, and I, I, would, I would say that's probably a book for you. Overall, I'm going to say this is a 5 out of 5. Barring the accessibility side, I think it's a fantastic book for anyone getting into fragrances or anyone who loves fragrances, especially anyone who wants to start making their own fragrances at all. And in the back, she actually gives a list of where to get supplies and uh, things like that. That is really, really, really helpful. And besides just that part, just the fact that I can come back to it, as I often do, and come and read uh, what a note is, or how it smells, or what uh, group it's grouped into, things of that sort. That's very, very helpful. And I think it's a, as I said, I think it's a necessity for any fragrance lover out there. So that is my review for Essence and Alchemy. Uh, if you've read it, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. If you haven't read it, I really suggest that you do. It's really worth your time and money. So anyway, let us know what you think. Of course, of course rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe there, like there. We'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.